this trail. It's been a long walk and you're starting to get hungry, but it's a long way back to the car and you didn't bring any food with you. Those mushrooms look delicious, so you eat them. Soon you start feeling nauseous, then you start vomiting and hallucinating. You're having severe abdominal cramps and you feel like you're about to pass out. You ate a poisonous fungus. And if you don't act quickly, you could die. Here's how to survive eating poisonous fungus. Fungi come in all shapes and sizes, and tens of thousands of organisms fall under the category of fungi. Until the late 1960s, there were only two classifications of life forms, plants and animals. But these plants don't contain chlorophyll, the green pigment. Without chlorophyll, photosynthesis can't happen. So in 1969, ecologist Robert Whitaker suggested that these be given their own classification. So the kingdom of fungi was created. Fungi are essential to our lives. They help create penicillin and other drugs. Yeast is a fungus too. It ferments wine and beer and helps some breads to rise. And some mushrooms are delicious foods. But if you eat a poisonous mushroom, what can you do to survive? Step one, save some of the fungus. After you eat a poisonous mushroom, it could take 20 minutes to 24 hours before you start feeling symptoms. So keep a sample in a bag and give it to the medical staff who are treating you. Some fungi have more than one toxin, so keeping a sample is key to surviving. Step two, track the symptoms. Write down the date and time when the fungi was eaten and how much was consumed and keep track of the symptoms and when they occurred. This timeline can help the medical team to treat you. Step three, get to a hospital. Even if you feel completely fine after consuming a strange fungus, it's best to assume the worst and head straight for a hospital. This applies to your pets as well as you and your children. So if you're going for a trek in the wild, find out where the nearest hospital is before you leave home. If you forget to do this, make sure you have your phone with you. It could help you pinpoint your position if you need to call for emergency help. Step four, pack some activated charcoal. If the closest hospital or ambulance is far away, having some activated charcoal could help to save your life. So keep some in your backpack, just in case. Activated charcoal has a different internal structure than regular charcoal. It's much more porous and it binds to toxins so your stomach can't absorb them. Then it passes out through your feces. Sometimes doctors use it to treat overdoses just to make sure it's activated charcoal, not the stuff you use for barbecues. And if you can, contact a poison hotline before consuming it. You've got the poison hotline number in your phone, right? Step five, know your fungi. Remember, peeling or cooking a poisonous mushroom will not make it safe. Only eat a mushroom if you are 100% certain that it's not poisonous. If you're not sure, just leave it alone. Ingesting even a small amount of the wrong fungus can be fatal. Eating a webcap, a common mushroom in North America and European forests, can cause kidney failure and even kill you. Or even if you eat a false morale, you can suffer nausea, abdominal pain, and even die from liver failure. And there's also the death cap mushroom. Eating just one is enough to kill a healthy adult. Step six, watch for symptoms. There are many symptoms you can feel after eating poisonous fungi. They could be anything from a pain in your belly to vomiting, diarrhea, and hallucinations. Some fungi are more toxic at certain times of the year as they go through various stages, so a toxic reaction could happen fast or take a long time to occur. And even sudden violent reactions can seem to be cured after 24 hours. At this point, you might be discharged from the hospital, but potentially fatal damage could be happening, even though you are not feeling any symptoms. If you consumed a lot of toxins, be careful for the next week. Be vigilant and watch for changes in skin color and overall health. It might save your life. So stick to safe mushrooms that you buy at a grocery store or other trusted sources. You wouldn't want to stop enjoying mushrooms on your hamburger or in a stir fry or with a steak. But what about if you ate a strawberry with a little soft patch on it? Or an old sandwich that you thought was safe, but it turned out to be covered in mold? Should you be worried? 
How safe is eating mold? We'll hold on to your taste buds a little longer and watch how to survive eating mold right here on How to Survive.